It's been way too long since we shaped this board and I can't wait around for John and Frank to help me because they're taking forever so I'm just going to attempt to do it myself. There's no waves today so I'm just going to work on this all day and see if I can get it done in just one day. She could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. She could get so I've never glassed the board before, but I watched some videos, read some articles, and Frank and John kind of walked me through the process. So I think I can do it. The first thing I gotta do is route out the spots for the fin boxes. And Frankie gave me some special tools to do that. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but I think we're gonna be okay. Kind of, uh, you know, gouged it out right there. But, it's gonna work. Okay, and now I need to run to Mitch's to get all the other supplies, the glass, the resin, the, f whatever. I got a list written down. I'm gonna go get that. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, I got the goods. So from Mitch's, I got six yards of six ounce fiberglass. So the weight of the fiberglass is kind of how strong uh, your board's gonna be. And obviously the heavier fiberglass your board weighs more. So it's a balance between strength and weight. And from what I read, most boards or short boards use a one four ounce layer on the bottom and then a six ounce layer on the top and then a four ounce layer on top of that on the deck. Um, I'm using all six ounce, so six ounce on the bottom and then two layers of six ounce on the top just to make sure that it's a strong board and I don't want anything to break on it. So six yards of that, the uh, epoxy resin. I got the epoxy resin because um, so apparently it is less toxic, it doesn't smell bad um, like the polyester resin. With polyester resin you need to wear a, a mask, a respirator, and you don't need to with epoxy. Uh, epoxy is also a little bit stronger and lighter. Uh, apparently it was a little bit more expensive, but uh, I just went with it. And I actually, I read that you could get um, some really fast curing stuff, like 30 to 90 minutes, but Mitch's didn't have that. They actually didn't know how long this stuff takes to cure, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this board done today. I might have to do a second session tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just got this. You mix two parts of this and one part of the hardener. Two parts epoxy, one part hardener. And give it a whirl. Three uh, squeegees, spreaders, whatever you call them. Two Futures fin boxes. Black pigment, because I'm uh, making it black like the lunch tray. Leash plug. And five brushes. Um, got a couple more than I need probably, but that's for the hot coat just in case I need extras. And the total of all that is $108 from Mitch's Surf Shop. Then I ran to Home Depot to grab the uh, measuring buckets and the paint sticks. Uh, so I got five buckets, $5. And I already have gloves, latex gloves, because you obviously don't want your hands getting on this stuff. And I think that's all we need to glass this. Oh yeah, sandpaper too, but Frank gave me a bunch of his and I have some down in the garage. So I think that's all. This resin literally does not say how long it takes to cure, which is kind of weird. Um, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out how long. She 
it could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. Shit could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. Shit could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare myself, myself. Shit could get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes. All right, I think uh, I think this camera turned off while I was doing that. But anyways, it did not go as planned. I. I, uh, I forgot to tape off the fin boxes before I mixed up the hardener and I guess you, you only have like 30 minutes before it starts to get hard, the resin. So I had to run inside and, and get some masking tape and tape off the fin boxes so the resin didn't go in there. But I think one of them didn't get, stay taped and I think the resin might have gone in the box and I'm probably going to have to like Dremel it out after, after it's all said and done. But for now this is what it looks like. It started to get harder before I could even finish like the rails of the board. So I was supposed to do all these rails and tuck this stuff underneath, tuck the fiberglass underneath. But um, I ran out of time and it's a, the, the resin's already sticky and I can't move it around anymore. So hopefully I can fix it with, uh, once I flip it over and do the deck side, um, hopefully I can go, go faster and uh, I don't know salvage this situation 15 minutes later alright I've looked it over I think I'm gonna mix up a small batch of clear resin not even gonna mess with the black and I'm gonna try to go around the rails um, and get those tucked under like they're supposed to be So it's been a few hours, the resin is like not quite all the way cured, but hard enough for me to start playing with it. <gasps> That's what she said. And this is what it looks like, not very good. So I'm just gonna trim off all the extra, um, all the extra stuff that didn't get stuck down to the board and then probably lay the deck coat on. the uh, the board cure overnight because it wasn't um, it wasn't curing all the way and I need to sand it so I think maybe the pigment made it cure slower but anyways I cleaned up the the laps the edges last night and now that it's cured I'm gonna sand everything and then put the deck layer on I sanded everything, went for a little swim, and now it's time to work on the deck coat. So for this one, we're gonna use two layers of fiberglass to give it more strength. Um, for like, you don't, you don't want your foot, your feet dinging up the board. So we're using two layers. Gonna cut those out and get glass in. Hopefully this time, the glass job goes a little bit better than the when I glassed the bottom of the board. I'll have to work a little bit faster and uh, See if I can get to those rails this time.
still far from perfect, but a lot better than the first coat that I did. I think I actually got every piece covered this time. There's a, a few like things hanging off of the bottom, because so I was just like swiping it with my hand instead of the little squeegee, but uh, it looks it looks all right. So I'm gonna let that cure for a few hours and then trim it up, sand it up, and do the hot coat. Six and a half hours later. It's been about six hours since I did the deck coat. And this is what it looks like. Not the worst, definitely not the best, but uh, looks a lot better than the first coat I did. So now I'm gonna cut these things off and sand it down to get ready for the hot coat. All right, we got it all sanded down and it is not looking great. I don't know if this thing is even gonna work. This might all be a waste of time. But the deck looks all right. There's a couple of spots that are missing resin. I don't know, I'm gonna throw on a hot coat and hopefully that makes it better. Um, this is what it looks like. You know, nothing crazy. We got all these little ridges here. We're missing some epoxy in the tail. Focus. Right in there. And of course on the nose. It's um, it's a little exposed. Let's get hot coating. The next day and we're back it's another new day this is day three of glassing so last yesterday I did the hot coat on the deck let it cure overnight it's pretty good there's a lot of air bubbles all over it but I think I can just sand those out so now I'm gonna clean up the bottom of the board clean up the rails and uh, hot coat the bottom of the board and then I just have to sand it all and it should be ready to surf I think so I'm gonna knock these bumps off. All right, I think that went pretty well. Um, still a lot of air bubbles in it, but hopefully we can just sand them out. Um, hopefully this is the last hot coat I gotta do and then I just kind of sand everything, do the fin boxes and the leash plug, and then we're good. I let this puppy cure all day. Now it's finally feeling like a real surfboard. Uh, I'm gonna start sanding it and see how it looks. I think the board is ruined. Um, the black, when I made the the first coats with the fiberglass cloth and I put the black pigment in it, um, at the store they just told me to use all the pigment and I talked to John and Frank afterwards and they said I only should have used like a really small amount. Anyways, the, the, the layer of resin with the pigment never got very hard. It, it still wasn't like, it didn't feel super hard to me. And then when I put the hot coat on, I didn't put any re any uh, pigment in there, and that resin got super hard. So I think all the black pigment that I used made the first layer of resin not super hard. And you probably saw it when I when I peeled out the fin box when I peeled out the resin from the fin box. 
it was like really mushy. And now the fin box just doesn't feel solid. I can like push this stuff in and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not good. I think I might have ruined the board. So uh, that sucks, but nothing I can do at this point. So I'm just gonna keep going and sanding it and uh, ride it till it breaks. We'll see if it, how long it lasts out in the water. But yeah, not good. The next day. And it's another new day. This is day four of the project. I thought I was gonna finish in one day, but it ended up taking a lot longer. I think this is the last day. Today I have to put in the leash plug and then I either can sand it tonight or I have to sand it tomorrow. And then it should be ready to go. Last night I sanded the whole entire board. It doesn't look great, but it feels pretty solid. So hopefully it works, even though it doesn't look the best. This is what it looks like. You can see where all the air bubbles were in the hot coat. And then you can see where the fiberglass cloth overlaps on the first layer. But it feels solid. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna put the leash plug right here. wraps up the glassing um, portion of this. I'm gonna surf this in one of my next videos, so if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. And if you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. Basically all I'm waiting for is the Host DB twin fins to get here. So I can throw those in and ride. They should be here in a couple days. Also, if you want to get the front traction or rear traction, it's available on Amazon or our website, link in the description. This project was a ton of work and I can confidently say that I never want to do it again. But yeah, once the fins get here, we will see if this board actually holds up in the ocean. Yeah.